than me. Mm-hmm. I, uh, they would, they might practice, you know, five days a week, but they'll never tell anyone. Right, right. You yeah. know, so that was the mentality was of, the, of, the, school school. of the of the older, yeah. older, you know, older generations. Hmm. That's my understanding. Right. So see, and that's and that's what leads me to believe that it wasn't so much that there was a real curriculum. These guys are just working on anything they try want. not to get hit. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> you know, try yeah, not to get hit. You hit and me learn, the head last learn, time. Learn to counter. <laughs> so yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't know because yeah, it, it I'm part of the modern, modern right. Uh, well, yeah, training yeah, and, curriculum. So for you in the modern training curriculum, what, what is it? What is it like to you now? Like, what do you what do you see in reference to the art itself? Is there a set curriculum that you can follow that you can see? Oh yeah, they practice the same doce pares. Yes. In, Europe as they do in South America as they do here in the United States or yes we we, we follow if, if, if a student walked in and signed up mm-hmm. we'd follow they we would teach them the curriculum by the by the numbers by the I numbers mean. okay so that then causes this question because the Kenyettas I think there was three or four of them as far as there yeah, were how many brothers there were, right gosh there was a few of them I don't, right, well, I don't Denisio, know Kakoy, um, what was the other one? The the one between those two, um, Momoi. Momoi. Okay. So, but they all had their own different versions of, or well, did they start off one way and then kind of branch out into their own little things? Grandmaster Juni is the nephew. He's okay. not one of the brothers. Oh, okay, that's why. Uh, His uh, father was the president uh, uh, of of uh, uh, Dos Pares. Okay. Uh, yeah, he. I think. Hmm. I'm not sure what what his specialty was, but it, all the old videos I see him doing double stick. Of course, yeah. uh, Grandmaster Momoy. Uh, his he had his style of escrima was San Miguel traditional right. um, the uh, stick and dagger. Yeah. What you would call stick. the escrimadores? <clears throat> yeah. yeah, and then Grandmaster Kakoy. He was more close. Well, from what I understood, he learned the traditional. From what I understand, he learned the traditional way from his older brother, Grandmaster Momoy. And then in the 50s, he asked permission to explore his own style. Mm. Huh? Oh, okay. And so that's yeah. when he started developing the close range. Right. Close range and the, the curving strikes. Yeah, the way he comes up like that. Dude, that was always crazy <laughs> to see this. When I saw him, he was like already in his like, 70s yeah. and he was bah, 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 and he would and he would always yeah. had that smile on his face yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know i mean yeah. he'd always right just yeah. like that yeah. 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 yeah he would always had this happy thing about oh i'm kicking somebody's ass right now ah. you know really really i mean the guy was impressive I, even at his old age you know yeah to, really to a, a, really a, a genius of a, a, a screamer of, yeah because he didn't do traditional moves a lot of his no. stuff looked crazy yeah but you could see that it worked really effective. well because yeah. he yeah. was winning left and right. Yeah, you know, I mean, and that's why I, I, when I remember the first time I saw Kako's style, I didn't think it was Dos Pares. Mm-hmm. You know, you wouldn't have associated because it looked so different. Mm-hmm. And then somebody says, "No, he's one of the brothers," and then I'm like, "What?" And he goes, "Yeah, he he broke away, and and went into his own thing, mm-hmm. but it's still considered, I guess, Dos Pares, right?" Yeah. Yes. Very, 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 very yeah, much it's so. It's still those Pares, still, yeah. but it was so different yeah. than the yeah. other the other it's brothers. The, yeah, he he is just he's fun to watch on oh. video. <laughs> you know, because you just I'd, I'd been in training sessions, like seminars, and 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 Grandmaster Kakoy would he would teach like four or five, six different disarms or six throws or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh-huh. Whatever he taught, six, you know, five throws, five disarms, and he, in order. Okay, we'll work on this one, next, this one, this one. And then after, you know, an hour or so, he goes, okay. And then he'd bring up one of his senior students. Right. He goes, okay, now I'll spar with so-and-so. <laughs> and he would show yeah. every <clears throat> technique he taught. In that seminar. In no, in the sparring in session. <laughs> Oh, it yeah, might not be. Emotion. It yeah. might in. Yeah, in application. In yeah. application, but not like a drill. Not like right. okay, you strike me here, I counter, and then oh, no, he would right. get it, and, and and work and make it work. I remember the yeah, first wow. time I saw him do it with one of his seniors. Uh, I thought, I thought for sure, oh, this young guy, 
young guy is probably you know fifty. Years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> younger guy. <laughs> they're, they're sparring, bang, bang, bang. They're not hitting with the the hardest, but they're they're doing their the free free, flow, free, yeah. free sparring. Yeah. And and it looked to me that the young guy, the younger master, was about to do something bad to the grandmaster. I was like, what? There must be a some backstory here. He's going to do something. It looked like he was about to throw. Yeah, cock point. Yeah. And then my uncle, ah, ha, boom, Ooh. dropped it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, I, it, well, it, like, really blew my mind. I just. I bet Kaka knew, oh, this guy's trying to get over on me. I'll, let me knock him on his ass and teach <laughs> He's him a lesson. He's probably mad all the time. I really, I I really thought, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think that's what it was. I don't, th I don't think the guy really, the, 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 the young guy, uh, right. I don't think he had any bad intentions, but what he did is he he was giving pressure right, right. and not cooperating and, 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 oh, and pressing it hard, the grandmaster yeah, yeah. and making it hard for him. Yeah. Yeah. And then you see his, you, you see his, like, you see his computer working. Right, and right. he just, it, I, I don't even, yeah, I don't even know what, how you to describe it. it. It's just, yeah. you, gotta enjoy you don't art. see many martial, yeah. art, martial artists like that. You get the real feel. It, where it's obvious for, right. for a layman to yeah, totally. recognize what's going on. Right. You, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's amazing. So, wow. so you touched on the idea that you actually trained a lot. Me and I have never seen you play. Yeah. You know, I mean, I see you at the gatherings and you kind of do some things, but mm -hmm. yeah, I've never I, I, seen yeah. anything. He, beyond you demonstrated that. one thing, Sagang yeah. uh, Lebo. Yeah. With me one time at one of the gatherings. Right. So we were talking the difference between the Sagang Lebo that Kakoi does versus the Sagang Lebo that. The other Kanyate does. What is what is Sigan Sigan Lebo, Lebo, where, where Lebo. you're doing yeah. pressure pressure? Yeah. On both sides. The top, bottom. Oh, yeah. high and kulub. Is it? Yeah, yeah. 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 and kulub. <laughs> yeah, we know it as Sigan Lebo. I was <laughs> waiting, man. That sounds like a soup dish to me. I don't, <laughs> Lebo, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll just be really upfront. I, I uh, since we started this place in, in seven years ago, is it seven years now? This month, yeah. Uh, this yeah, month, seven be, years yeah. ago. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I, I really haven't been holding a stick. I've been... Well, that's what I'm saying. I've been an hold office one, yeah. manager. Hold one now. Hold one. But, I, I, <laughs> but I used to really be the one on the floor, like how Jory, if you if you came to our class, yeah. right. you're going to see Jordan out there right. showing, okay, now, there's a... If you would have came before, you would have seen me. <laughs> you Folks, seen I me. want you to understand something, <laughs> and this is, you know, we want you to know. Usually on our college conversations, we have a demo at the tail end of the show. Yeah, and we've asked Mike to do this. He's like, Jordan. Jordan's <laughs> gonna do it. Yeah. So, you know, we just want you to understand if you're waiting for him to come up, uh, <laughs> probably not today, unless we can like you know get him to do it. And we're gonna try. His, we're gonna try our hardest. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see we're gonna we have him knock Naeen on his ass just because it'll be funny. It's a lot of mats. <laughs> I think no. he's comfortable enough. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. So, so yeah, I haven't been actively. Uh, training or holding. So back a stick. in the day, were you competing at all? Were you, yes, were you doing those I've things? competed in the world tournament yeah. in the Philippines. In the Philippines. Now, there's a big difference from Philippine tournaments and U.S. tournaments. The, 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 the competition is strong wherever you go at a world level tournament. Yeah. yeah. But think about it. If you if you if if we're talking judo and and <laughs> and we're competing and. Right. Where whatever name a country, but the Japanese team's not there. Then there's, there's a different. Well, thing. we're yeah. still world champions if we right. win, but we didn't field. face the Japanese yeah. team. Yeah, they're the guys who. <laughs> so if we fight at the Escrima, now remember, man, Escrima, uh, the Philippine team, many of them, you know, they can't afford to go compete in Germany. Right. They can't. Yeah. They can't go to you know to New York or Florida or whatever. So and they're the ones on the farm working their ass off. And so when you when you do compete at a world tournament in the <laughs> Philippines, you face the local fighters. Right. And they're good because they're fighting hard. They're, they they want to they want to make a reputation for themselves. They want a world championship right. title mm -hmm. to put in their book, and they want to you know represent. They want to represent their country, but they also want to have some type of. Uh, opportunity to go abroad and maybe right. teach or, 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 you know, or maybe it, get sponsored to go it's um interesting that you mentioned how 
the Filipinos can't afford to go to other countries to do these things. Right. Um, uh, most. Most. Well, no, most. No, no. And, most. And, and, and many. Me, I shouldn't yeah. say most. I, many yeah, cannot. Because and, 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 I agree with you with that. You know, yeah. I, I mean, I have cousins in the Philippines, and they're not very well off. Yeah. I mean, a lot of Filipinos in the Philippines are not well off. Yes. Let's be honest yes. about that, right? Yes. I mean, the rich people are, I mean, it's like this, right? This is the rich. It's a big difference. This is the poor people, but this, this is how many rich people there are. This is how many poor people there are, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we know That's that. True. And you go, you know, I remember when I first started going over there, I would ask about, hey, do you know, you know, Kali or, you know, anybody can teach me? Nobody would know what it was. Yeah. They didn't even know what is that, you know, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but it comes from the Philippines. Mm. But a lot of them didn't even know what it was because, from what I was told, they couldn't afford to go anyways. You know, even if they, you know. Even if they knew about it, yeah. But you ask, oh, do you know anybody who teaches the scream out? Oh, what's that? Or do you know anybody, or at least, oh, what's that? Or is that the, the stick thing? They really wouldn't know. I mean, that's the normal out there, right? Yeah. And then, you know, but it was even being taught in school, but they still didn't know what it was. Yeah. Which yeah. is crazy to me because, yeah. wait a minute, you should have learned this in school. But you don't know what this is. Yeah, uh, the the artists, I think become a PE. Right, yeah, part school. of the PE, right? Yeah, but I think they're only using like, you know, to like using in the dance and stuff like that. Right, you know? exercises. They don't really. Very, very, very. I think very, very basic, basic. Yeah, very training. limited. Yeah. yeah. And I was also yeah. reading something uh, online or a discussion about uh, educators who actually teach, right. and, and they were saying that you know some of the uh, PE teachers who do that, they're they go through a very short, <laughs> short course yeah, yeah. to to. So it's not even the whole school have, year long. No. Oh. Well, it might be the whole school year, but yeah, the, 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 the instructor, the, the, the PE the instructor, yeah. they don't have the real knowledge. They're not they, even, they 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 learned a little bit in a short time and now pass it on. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that right. because yeah. you, you know they're doing the best they can. I'm just saying it's not. Yeah, they're not trained. It's not the years. art under a microscope. Yeah, they yeah. haven't learned for five years to be able to. Yeah, they learned it like within a three-week course, and yeah, they okay, go teach. This. Maybe that's what I read. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. know. I don't know but offhand. That's crazy, yeah. though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, though. <clears throat> it's because of that. I mean that. That um, the idea that I can't afford to learn our own national fight system because I just don't have the money yeah. or the time for it because I'd rather be trying to make money for, for the baby family, because yeah. they need to eat and we have to feed yep. the family and blah, 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 that, oh, that's just, that's not an essential. Mm -hmm. Whereas all the other martial arts, you know, yeah, more in China, accessible. you send your kids to, to a reputable school. Yeah. You pay any money you have yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. Yeah. to get your kids to learn this and, it, and everybody knows what Chinese kung fu or whatever it is and japanese karate. yeah or japanese yeah. or no matter you know even in, in other countries you know even in mexico boxing i mean that's become, yeah you know right yeah yeah yeah. but in the philippines it was never really like that and again a lot of it was taught in the backyards and in the garages especially you know before the 70s yeah. a lot of it if you were going to learn something you learned it from your family your cousin yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, that's true right so i mean i've always found that to be very weird you know, it's yes. odd. Yes, and also the the other side of that also is uh, a lot of times the people from the Philippines will embrace other Different arts. arts. Yeah, that Taekwondo. Before their own. Yeah, Taekwondo uh, was a big thing in the Philippines. Can't be any good. Wow. It's from it's from yeah. here. Right. But that other art from there is, must yeah. be. Yeah. 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 Which is, again, that drives me crazy when yeah. I see that. It's like, yeah. dude, you guys got one of the richest fighting arts and everybody uh, wants to learn Filipino martial arts, but the Filipinos don't want to learn it because yeah. they don't think it's any good. I mean, your yeah. top student's a Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's stroking his own ego. Yeah. <laughs> he stroked his own ego. Yeah. Thing. On but, camera. On camera. On cam <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but that, that, that and, and it's a little sad, isn't it? It is. It's, it is. It's very, Dude, I'm feeling sad, sad over here. That's why I had to throw that joke in there. Yeah, it's I'm very like, oh unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, because, I mean, again, until the Presses Brothers came out, Filipino martial arts was not that known. Can you imagine if the people in the Philippines would rather eat spaghetti than pancit? Yeah. <laughs> and everybody, and everybody yeah. who knew how to cook pancit died off, and yeah. nobody was left to, right. you, you know? To pro yeah, to propagate it. Yeah, it, it's just like I said, you know, I've, al I've always wondered about that in Filipino martial arts, and that's why, uh, you know, a lot of the schools that you don't know about are so much better than the ones that are. No. That, that got me choked up. <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti. Now I want pancit. No, <laughs> no, 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 but 
but you're right I, i'm not i'm not part of the culture and and i've shared you know a big part of my life with you so i've seen a lot of the culture itself and and, and i do love the the arts in that sense and to imagine that the people that it's closest to have no access to it just it, it's a yeah. sad it's heartbreaking it really is yeah. I, i'm yeah. i'm genuinely yeah. upset right now because yeah. of that it's heartbreaking yeah. and it, it's difficult yeah. but between you and maintaining that relationship even if it's just you supplying you know sticks you still maintain a relationship with the filipino people and it, it's maybe if we can industrialize the the art a bit more then we can bring more the... well you know what i have noticed that what's bringing out a lot of the filipino martial arts are the american movies yeah have that's you noticed true. that yeah that's yeah, true born identity uh book of eli yeah you know uh even 300 had yeah. some 300 some essence yeah. Of, uh, yeah they were all doing the, it's almost you, know, you can i mean we could we could go on Netflix or whatever and, wa <laughs> yeah, and watch yeah. watch every action flick and I I bet you you could pick out we yeah, can oh, yeah, oh yeah. that's Especially FMA the there's F you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's that's really good but but for the the country itself not to be yeah, the regular well people. it's it's bringing the interest to the country so I think that's good okay um, okay yeah. uh, the other thing I I think that now. I'm going to talk a little bit about a touchy subject because everybody has an idea of how people should be sparring and this and that, but uh, that's yeah. fine. That's good. Do it, do it your way. Do it the, the way you think is best. Safe. But I think the tournaments are, are good for a scream. Right. You, you know, it, it, it let people, people see it. See it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to try that. It looks fun. It's fun. It right? Is. It's it fun. Really is. Now when you're on the receiving end when Nain gets yeah. cracked. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. even in losing. I still remember the bruise you put it right across my chest, you <laughs> bastard. Um. Even, you know, that, the, the tournament. No, it's, it, 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 yeah. it, and, and that really does show the, yeah. the country. Yeah. It, yeah. it really yeah. does show the Philippines. And so, uh, I agree. Yeah. I think it's more good than bad. Do you I know. still do that? Yeah. Do you, you, I mean, yeah, we're going to we're going to we're yeah. going to do our tournament. Hopefully, whenever it's safe to do it, we're going to do it again. And, I, I, and yeah, the same thing you're on the saying. You know, they're all. I mean, everybody's on board to wanting to get it out there. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, Mel. We, yeah. we had uh, we had Mel Arpilia yeah. on our show, and you know him. He's such a history buff, mm -hmm. especially about the Filipino culture and propagating it and letting mm -hmm. everybody know. And his, his idea was like, yeah, let's do the tournament at the Pistahan because we have all these people who are going to be looking and it's going to really show everybody oh look at this cool thing that we do as Filipinos mm -hmm. yeah. as a cultural aspect yeah, as, of a it, cat, yeah. as a cultural thing and and he loved that it was like it was one of those things he thought that was going to be the best sell of the pistahan itself well, you that's, know, to get that's, people. What, that's what we do at our yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. right yeah. You know, exactly when, what when he was it. saying that it was like now i get why the people would throw that into their filipino fiestas that yeah. that is a big cultural part yeah. of the Philippines yes. that people in the Philippines don't yeah. really know about. <laughs> and that's crazy to me. Yeah. That just drives me nuts yeah. when I hear that. I was like, how are you not knowing what this is? Yeah, well, yeah. whatever the culture in the Philippines, you can only see outside the Philippines. It's like here. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. Philippines, it's like the, the, the Sayao, the Tinikling. It's yeah. almost gone. Oh, they really? rather, rather, the uh, yeah, yeah. they rather dance a hip hop or whatever. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Than, than yeah. their own, the which is good. That's good yeah, too that's, to that's dance good. that. Yeah, and, but but your but own cultural yeah, thing. Know they, where you we, came from. Yeah. yeah, you know, in Japan, if there's some type of art or part of their culture that's dying out, they they prop it back. They up. prop it back the up. They, yeah. They, no, they, I, yeah, I, they, I see that. Like the, I don't know a lot about the the sword making, but my understanding that I heard is that. You know they were losing the the art of, of bladesmithing yeah. those the the Japanese swords or whatnot. steel. Yeah, so the so the no, the like government it, they they yeah. opened some kind of program or training center or something. To get people and, back in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Just saw to the keep same it alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I, I talked about it with somebody. They were just yeah, no, there was some kind of Japanese. There's something on the, on the History yeah. Channel. Yeah, I did a segment on it. And that's like, beautiful. Oh, cool. You know, yeah. that's yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So, wow. But the Philippines just don't want to do it, stuff like that. I don't. And, I don't know. You know, because you hear about Batangas, right? About yeah. the, the knives over there, the butterfly and the whole balasong. Mm. And um, they're saying that's a dying art. There's only like a handful of people there mm -hmm. who will do it. And and the, and, the, and the sad thing is, you can't take you can't get that knife out of that country because it's illegal. Mm -hmm. I mean, people smuggle it out. You know, I mean, there's you'll find some here, but for the most parts. Because it's illegal and you can't really do mass productions of it, it's dying in the Philippines. And there's a, a, a group that is trying to bring it back. They're doing a video, 
you know, that, that shows the history of it all and trying to, but it, it's a hard sell. <clears throat> it's hard because it's yeah. illegal. Yeah. 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 You can't. Yeah, you the can't restrictions make it more difficult. Yeah. I mean, it's the, it's the funnest knife to play with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the original fidget spinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fidget. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. You know, but then, and, and it's sad how a lot of stuff like that is like that in the Philippines. Not just Filipino martial arts. Like you were saying, the nickname. Yeah, the technique. You don't, you don't see most, it as often. Most of our yeah. culture is, is like almost dying, yeah. you know? In the Philippines, you won't see it as... You'll what see it you more here? out here than you would in the Philippines, which is crazy to me. It's like, it's like the Alibata. I don't yeah. learn the Alibata from the school. Yeah. Because they don't really teach that when I, when I was all, in yeah. school. I learned from master. He teach, yeah. he teach us how to, you know? Really? He even taught yeah. you that? Yeah. Wow. Because yeah, he, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. that, that, that was a part of the lesson. Uh, he would lecture them on Sundays... Yeah, every Sunday about we have the lecture day, and then after that, watching movie. <laughs> what, what do you lecture you guys about? Nationalism? Uh, about to be proud to be Filipino? Yeah, proud to be Filipino. How we start the, the Yaoyan. Uh -huh. Who's the first, but we have to recognize them and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. You know where you came from. Yeah. But, and, and, and again, that's a rarity, isn't it? Yeah. In the Philippines. Yeah. Doesn't. Well, I think it's a rarity in a lot of places. Yeah, I, yeah most likely. Because... You know, when I the first time I went to the Philippines, it was almost Americanized, and I'm talking back in uh, '90. It was you know the roads were all still dirt roads. You know, it was in the '90s, wow. <laughs> right? Which is crazy to yeah. me. You know, and I would have thought everything was paved roads, but the the town that we're from is in uh, Osu Santa Gig, which is now part of a uh, you know part of the Rizal area. Mm -hmm. uh, but the gig when I went there for the first time, the roads were all dirt. You get on the jitney, you go for like two miles, you blow your nose, it's all black soot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You remember those oh, days, yeah. right? And not until about 98, maybe, that it became regular paved roads. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was slow going. I mean, the progress was really slow. But 